Good morning. I hope you're fine. This morning, I'd like to talk to you about some qualities of remarkable people. There's some people you meet in life and they just strike you as there's something about them and you, you, you can't forget about them. In general, such people have some things in them that some of which we find in today's scriptures. Our scripture readings today, the first one is taken from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 16, from verses 11 to 15. And the Gospel reading is taken from the Gospel according to St. John, from chapter 15, from verses 16 to 26. So, in the first reading, we hear Luke telling us about the second missionary journey of St. Paul. And in that text, he tells us about a woman who struck them. Her name is Lydia. This woman was said to be a merchant in Popol. She was a very rich woman, and you could say she's the CEO of Lydia Textile International Company. You I mean, call her what you want. She was a very influential woman. She had a lot of money. She was a businesswoman. But in this woman, we find three things which I'd like to share with you that I have also observed in most great, remarkable people in life. The first thing is docility. This woman knew a lot about her business, but she was still teachable. She came to the apostles and listened to them. She was still willing to be taught. Of course, we shouldn't confuse docility with gullibility. Gullibility means you're just taking everything that comes. But docility means you know what you're about, but you're still willing to learn. Leaders have to be learners. Great people are always learning. And I have read a lot of biographies of great people, and one of the things I can share with you for free is that most great people are readers. They are always reading and learning. So Lydia this morning came and listened to the apostles. She learned from them. And as soon as she learned from them, then there's a second thing. Second thing she does is that she shares, of course she gets baptized by Paul, and then she shares what she had learned with her household and makes sure that everyone in her household is baptized. Witnessing is one of the fruits of faith. If you really believe something, if you are really convinced about something, there is no way you would not share it with others. Great people write books, not so much because they are right on every issue, but because they are convinced about the things they are writing in their books. So Lydia shares what she believes with her family and they too get baptized. Now, in the Gospel reading of this morning, Jesus tells us that the Holy Spirit is the primary witness, but you too will be my witnesses. So if we truly believe in Jesus, we will bear witness to him. We will talk about him to others. And by the way, I'd like to thank all of you who have been sharing these videos, because it's a sign that you really truly believe in Jesus and you are trying to witness to him. So Lydia shares what she has gained with her family. She witnesses to the truth that she has come to believe and then her family is baptized. So that's the second thing. And the third and the final thing I'd like to say about remarkable people, which we find in the life of Lydia, is that they are usually grateful people. They are usually grateful people. She, after being baptized her family, she comes back to the apostles and she's thinking of how to give back. She's trying, looking for how to tell them thank you for what they have done in her life and the life of her family. And then she says to Paul and Luke and the others, please come and stay in my house. I have a big house. You don't have to be renting an apartment. You don't have to be building new tents everywhere you go. Every time you come here, stay in my house. And of course, you know, Paul wouldn't want to take anything. He wouldn't want to take advantage of his ministry. Paul refused. But Luke says that Lydia insisted. And in the French, he says he actually forced him to take the place. And of course, that's just a funny way of putting it by Luke. What it really means is that this woman was grateful and she wanted Paul to know how grateful she was. Remarkable people are usually people who are grateful for what they have. They are grateful for life. They are grateful that they can breathe. They are grateful that the last illness did not kill them. They are grateful for their friends. They are grateful for nature. And they are grateful for the faith that they have. So child of God, do you want to be a remarkable person? Be docile. Be a witness to your convictions and be grateful. May the mighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.